What's going on, soccer fans, uh, Rebel fans, and uh, most importantly today, Team USA fans. Um, the kickoff celebration concert thing is over, and it's 12.20 a.m., which means it is officially Friday, June 11th. And you know what that means, folks. I mean, we've been hearing it since the fall of what day this was. We've been hearing for the past four years, mostly since the fall, that June 11th, it all began. And today, it begins. Uh, the first game will uh, take our hated arch rivals, Mexico, against host country, South Africa. That's a 10 o'clock game. Later on, I think it's 2 or 2.30, we have Uruguay going up against powerhouse France. Parlez-vous français? Um, before we get more in depth into the World Cup, uh, I just want to say uh, the Union, uh, Philadelphia, congratulations guys, back in last place. Um, the lone team last place, losing to Kansas City this afternoon 2-0. Uh, following that game, we had DC United at Seattle. DC sucks, right? They're not going to beat Seattle. DC scores three goals on ex-Team USA goaltender Casey Keller. Two of the goals look, or maybe one of them looked pretty legit. Well, actually, yeah, two of them looked pretty legit. Um, and one was just looked like Casey Keller running around the goal like a goose without a head. And uh, Pon Pontius gets the um, hat trick, so another golf clap to him. Um, DC moves out of last and goes to second to last, so clap for DC. Um, and this is a little grudge. I was talking to my buddy Diego about this earlier. Diego, if you're watching, shout out. Um, how come, I understand Seattle as an expansion team last year, brought in crowds like no one's seen in the MLS for a long time, and they had an awesome year. But now, everyone's like, it doesn't matter what team goes in there, if any team scores one goal on Seattle, it's like, oh my god, it's shocking, everyone's in shock, how could a team score on Seattle, blah, 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 blah. Seattle a good year last year, but let me tell you folks, they're average this year. They're not great, they're not bad, they're average. So I don't understand why any team, it doesn't matter if it's the first place Red Bulls and the Columbus Crew, or last place Philadelphia Union and DC United, if they score one goal, it's like, oh my god, how on earth did they score a goal in Seattle? And that's really starting to tick me off. It's kind of showing like how little some of the announcers on the ESPN MLS Game of the Week know. Because it's like they just remember that Seattle had a great year last year and now they're automatically awesome this year, which is, I'm getting a little sick of. Tell me your ideas in the comments section. But anyways, this is it folks. Don't tread on this. Don't you dare friggin' tread on USA Soccer because we are coming. Like I said, it's not just about being there anymore. Well, I didn't say that I saw it in a commercial, but it's true. It's not just about being there anymore for USA Soccer. It's about expectations. It's about playing our best. It's about how far can we make it and can we battle with the big dogs. And my own personal feeling is if we play nothing but our best USA Soccer, we can make it pretty far. I'm going to leave it right at that. I mean, think about it. Tying Argentina, beating Spain, Netherlands, that was a complete fail. So... And our last two games, we have beaten Turkey and beaten Australia somewhat convincingly. So we have great confidence and momentum headed into that one. I'm not saying Turkey and Australia are the top-notch teams in the world, because they're not. But they're pretty talented. So we have a good mojo going in, and I think the sky's the limit. With a semi-easy pool, England, Algeria, Slovenia, with the exception of England, uh, I'm expecting, and I'm expecting no less, and anything else would be a disappointment of second place in our pool moving on and you England front runners who live in like New York or God knows where and you are 100% American born but you like England you guys can suck it because uh, USA if we play our best game which I'm expecting us to do because we've been waiting for this moment for a while can be England I'll take a tie and I think in the end, we're going to see a goal, a score of 2-1 to one USA. I'm just, I'm being confident here. Um, a lot of interesting things are going to happen in this World Cup. And this is basically one of the, this is the biggest month in sport, uh, soccer, one of the biggest months in sports. And it all begins today. Uh, you're, I'm talking to you right now on June 11th. 
what will we be saying when I make a video down the road on July 11th? Um, I don't know, depending on how many views and the popularity that my uh, World Cup statements make with you guys, the viewers, I'll see if I make uh, videos recapping South Africa, Mexico, and Uruguay and France. If not, I'm just going to make a video uh, recapping USA, England. That'll come out probably Saturday late afternoon, so look out for that, win or lose. Um, so let me know if you want me to make a video recapping tomorrow's games. Uh, let me know tonight in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, whatever. So yeah, one more time, uh, World Cup starts tomorrow, June 11th. It's um, South Africa, Mexico, 10 a.m. Then 2, 2.30, we have Uruguay and France with another uh, showing of the World Cup South Africa 2010 kickoff celebration concert extravaganza thing. It's at 8 o'clock tomorrow on ESPN. So a full day of World Cup kickoff events. So check it out. Once again, tell me if you want, to make, if you want me to make a video tomorrow because I will. If it's going to annoy you, then I won't. Um, all right, this is GGMO 101. You guys enjoy a great coming days of soccer and um, USA England folks. Let's let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Bam, bam, bam. And you know what? We're gonna bring toothbrushes, and England won't know what to do. All right, USA. Oh, and the Inks come marching in.